dear system mechanical engineering students welcome back into my another video hope you are all doing well and hope you have started your preparation so far we have discussed uh, the passing package or important questions for the subjects like uh, machine design and POM subject production and operations management right so today I will discuss uh, the important questions of heat transfer it is a tricky subject and a lot of numerical part is there so stay connected with me so that I will discuss within three minutes the important questions over here so let us start with the model third state and explain Kirchhoff's law Planck's law and Wien's displacement law and Stefan Boltzmann law. These are the four laws. This may be the 10 marks question in the VTV examination. And I explain the concept of black body, gray body, and transparent body. Small definitions they will ask you. And briefly explain the use of numerical techniques to solve the heat transfer problems. I explain the process of discretization based on finite difference methodology. These are the three theoretical questions which you have to go through in the model third and also uh, go through the radiation numericals. So for numericals what refer 18 ME 63 papers previous year papers if you are not getting let me know in the comment section so that I will upload those important papers on my Instagram account and also I will provide the link later on if you are convenient if you want the papers for uh, practicing the numerical part right. Next is model fifth distinguish between drop wise and film wise condensation discuss the different regimes of pool boiling curve most important one and derive an expression for lmtd for a parallel flow heat exchanger and sometimes they will ask you for counter flow heat exchanger this may be the 10 marks question derive an expression for lmtd for parallel flow heat exchanger and sometimes they will give derive an expression for lmtd for counter flow heat exchanger right and numericals on parallel flow whatever whenever you will derive the uh, de, uh, sorry the expression for these uh, uh, parallel flow and counter flow okay you will be able to solve the numericals on parallel flow and counter flow very simpler ones okay at least to try to practice uh, four to five uh, problems on this particular topic right next is module first explain the different modes of heat transfer citing uh, the one example for each mod mode derive the uh, general three-dimensional conduction equation in Cartesian coordinate system what do you mean by boundary condition of first second and third kind derive critical thickness and insulation of cylinder and you should go through numericals composite walls very simpler numericals are there so you should not leave numericals at all even though this subject can be passed with the theoretical portions but if you are going to the numerical part you can easily score more than 80 by attending the numericals right next is uh, this is all about model first next is model second derive an expression for the temperature distribution for a long fin of a uniform cross section with insulated trip and uh, obtain an expression for temperature distribution of solid in lumped heat transfer analysis in dimensional numbers and explain the significance of fin efficiency and fin effectiveness and explain the significance of uh, biot number and Fourier number in transient heat conduction okay so as far as numericals are concerned I have already told you you should refer 18 me 63 I will write down here 18 me 63 refer these previous year question papers so that you will get idea how the numericals are coming in the examination and next is a uh, model four. last here explain the significance of Nusselt number Reynolds number Randall number and uh, Greshoff number. Explain the formation of boundary layers, uh, thermal and hydrodynamic for flow over a flat plate. Distinguish between free convection and forced convection on the basis of associated dimensional numbers and with reference to fluid flow over a flat plate. Uh, discuss the concepts of velocity boundary layer and thermal boundary layer with necessary sketches. These are all theoretical questions which I have discussed here. So for numericals, kindly, kindly, kindly go through the uh, previous year question paper and try to solve four four problems from each topic okay so that you will score good in this uh, heat transfer subject so my best wishes are with you i hope uh, you will clear this subject in the earlier attempt for itself uh, so that you will be somehow free in the next semester okay to tackle the regular subjects so share this video to all your batchmates all your friends so that they can take benefits of these important questions thank you